Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is up, everybody? It's Ryan from the channel you're on right now. I forgot the name for a second there. Doing a new thing known as forgery. Let's forge. Featuring King Superfly. This guy. One of the greatest to ever do it, if you ask me. Yeah, so this is a new thing called Let's Forge. Uh, right now we're going to go over how to build a Halo football stadium. Halo football is the greatest thing ever. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the stadium is a fundamental part to it. So uh, we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you guys. The stadium is already built. It's called Throne. It's the greatest Halo sports stadium. Talk about a turkey bowl and what the online. You can play Griff Ball on it. Well, you'll see. It's top five. Trust me. Make sure on the red team, though, because the blue team is uncultured. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, this is it right here. You see, um, right there in the middle of that black. You can see the uh, ball, right? And, um, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why that happened. Oh, Dragon Age DLC. It's not working. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you all the components of the map took two and a half not two and a half two hours and five minutes to build started at 757 ended at 1002 is that true i don't even know uh but it was it's worth the build if you play halo football which you don't but you can always not download it from my file share because that doesn't work in this game but i'll show you how to make the stadium the game test pretty self-explanatory oh my gosh what are you doing Hey, the online's working though, so I can't get mad at this game. Online is working amazing. Why are you putting on the blue team? Do I look like communist? Alright, well, you gotta go to Forge if you wanna make a map. Alright? And uh, you're gonna have to go to Forge Island, and if you have it, which you just, a 0% chance you do, go to Throne. This guy's name is King Superfly. The other Halo football map is named Castle, and this one's named Throne. Yeah, there's a pattern and the other one's named fun station so if you're gonna make halo football halo basketball anything you have to put it on ricochet um because it's the only way you can make the ball and the end zone spawn into the game not so fast uh okay gotta load it up real quick the improbable islands that doesn't make any sense the improbable islands known as the Great Anvils. Okay, so it worked right. Now we're in. Generating lighting, pretty great. So there it is. That's a throne right there. Looks like a giant battleship, but it's a battleship for the blues because they die. So, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the stadium right here. Um, so you got the field and everything, and the, this side looks better because I ran out of money for this side. So, yeah, you could just freeze it here and just look at that and then uh, get that. All right, so let's just see what it takes to build this map. First, you want to build the floor, which is um, one, two, three, four, five, five by three wall coliseums going long ways. You want to put the ball spawn right in the middle and you have to put the traffic cone. You go to advance, see as we're at 10,000. You make a ricochet ball spawn. That's where the balls can spawn. They can capture plate. And the end zones are uh, similar. They're capture plates, but you have to make it ricochet end zone instead. And put the team. So this is attacker, so the red team scores in here. Yeah, so you've got your 5 by 3 the wall coliseums going long ways. And then um, I surrounded the whole thing with large walkway covers, just because I like the way they look. When you color them, you see everything in here is red, except for these little ugly things. Uh, yeah, so I surrounded with the uh, large walkways, and then on top of the large walkways, I put cover glasses. 
as yeah you're starting to figure out why I'm out of money these are all fifty dollars each and there's kind of a lot of them I put them at the end because they kind of go upward so it makes it look more like it doesn't look like stands at all but it makes it look better so yeah on the sidelines you have just one going across you see you gotta, you gotta line them up correctly too this one's a little bit off but for the most part they're all lined up correctly and then um all right so we'll just focus on the sides now then on the back of these you want to put another set of large walkways imagine i did this <laughs> um okay now this is the uh tedious part is the sniper's nests which kind of make for like a real seating type of feel they look so cool it took about five ten minutes just to set up one side of these and they're kind of expensive but it's worth it if you look up it i mean it looks amazing i always wanted to make a dome halo football stadium and i made a dome halo basketball stadium but we don't talk about that one here uh so on the end zones you just have your large walkways and then you have a two set you're gonna you have to put the space in between because i ran out maybe you have more money than me in forge but yeah there has to be a little bit of space try to make it as little as possible um and then these because you're gonna have a gap in between the cover glasses so the bunker boxes look pretty freaking cool there and as you can see on this side i put um i don't know why but i put them there and they look cool uh so then after that you want to double stack large walkways there's actually two of them here you want to kind of like invert them you see how this one's facing that way and then uh, this one's going to be facing the other way because it just makes it look like one. Um, yeah. So then on top of that, you have your platform larges. But nobody can see that. That's what that is. <coughs> um, the top on this side was kind of improvised with the walls. If you look from like this angle, it looks really stupid. But from the in you just use what you can. You know that people on the inside aren't going to see these little flaws. Like from the inside, that looks pretty cool. Uh, these are tunnels up here. We got two tunnels because they're cheap, and uh, we didn't have any money. The bunkers are pretty expensive, and I put the spawns in the bunkers, the initials. The regular spawns go on the back of your team's end zone, and then I just block them off because I don't know why. I don't like my players committing suicide. Uh, and then this side was the first side that I did because it looks like if you look at this side and then you uh, look at this side. Oh, how you doing? This side just looks so much better. <coughs> Gotta go to sleep. Uh, there's a little bit more space in between these. There's initially four per row, but budget cuts. Whoa, not supposed to do that. Call me back in there. Um, yeah, so there's space, a little bit of space. Can I get through? Can I get, come on, come on, come on, push. Come on, you don't want it. Oh. Uh, these, this is at a light. Um, slant and these are a light slant but then you have two that go straight up and then these curve right into the uh, top of the dome you know I was hoping when I built it that um oh wait right these are these are catwalk lips you find them in the forge island section of structure yeah hundred dollars though so watch out mr. Krabs uh, yeah, I wanted a reflection to go straight down the middle, but it turns out there is no reflection, but it gives it a nice tint to the stadium. As you can see what it looks like to, uh, actually play around on here. You can imagine you're the greatest Halo football player to ever do it, and you, uh, roll left. Two seconds left, three, two, touchdown. I, if only I knew what the feeling um yeah so that's pretty much a stadium <coughs> remember the traffic cone has to be here uh the ball will spawn with the traffic cone here yeah so this is thrown the greatest halo football stadium ever do it on the let's forge um as long as you set these up right the wall coliseums go off the f very front they kind of like balance on there like that and they'll be set up perfectly uh Make sure that you put a blue spawn on top of here so the blues have to jump in and kill themselves, hopefully. 
Uh, you can put one in the ocean too, but that's risky. Yeah, so that's basically it. This is the stadium throwing. This is the championship stadium for Halo football. The red team has a 2 nothing lead in the series right now, in the first series of Halo Master Chief Collection. So they're going for the championship. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to build it, you can... Uh, well, if you just want it, you have to send me your friend request, and then it's in my file share. The Halo football game type is just 20, 30 minutes, one or the other. Uh, player speed is at like 120, ball carry speed is 150, and energy swords, no grenades. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go to sleep now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So thanks for the video. Enjoy. Outro. The pineapples. Mariposas. Butterflies. It's a pin. A butterfly. Come on. Yeah, too close. I need to do this right now. Okay. Wait. There's a pop-up. Oh, no. It's up. Wait. Come on, dude. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stop audio first.